So today I bring you my top 5 assault rifles. Now I will be honest, this was hard as in my opinion assault rifles are outdone by a vast number of SMGs resulting in 95% of assault rifles being banked and forgot about. But today I bring you 5 which are definitely worth your time in checking out. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Now as per usual people this is just my opinion. If yours differs and would like to think it would. Let me know your top 5 assault rifles in the game down below in that comments section. If there's one out there you think is a must try which I haven't mentioned, do for sure let me know what that is. Ok so let's get into it people. In at number 5 we have the Star Helix. Now the Star Helix is a truly unique assault rifle. The stars are better off without us. This is a reference to the TV show The Expanse. Seriously underrated show I may add. Now what's unique about this weapon is the way it shoots. The Star Helix fires two additional projectiles per shot that will meet the centre projectile at a certain distance. This can be for those smaller targets a little tricky to land all three shots on, but those larger targets are much much easier to hit. And because of its three projectiles it means this thing is capable of some decent damage. Now the Star Helix is a world drop but it has an increased drop chance from the power troopers located on Atlas HQ on Promethea. It can drop offering cryo radiation and shock or no element at all. But yeah guys it's a very very capable weapon, definitely shoot to certain builds over others in my opinion but it is one I do insist you at least trying out because I do think it may just surprise you. Ok so let's move on. And in at number 4 we have the Shreddy Fire or the Engulfing Shreddy Fire. Now the Shreddy Fire is a weapon I do feel people have forgotten about. It's got one of the biggest clips in the game I believe up to 110. It drops in every element the game offers or none and it utterly shreds within the right build. Now this Vladar assault rifle has two firing modes per weapon. A rifle and double chain gun or rifle and shotgun. Double chain gun sees the weapon shoot from two different barrels at the same time and what this does indeed do is gives this weapon I believe about a 25% increased fire rate. Now this is a world drop but its dedicated boss drop is the raging titan within the slaughter shaft which I've run about a thousand times and I've only seen him drop it about two times so it's quite rare. Now the engulfing shredder fire is capable DPS is up there with the best assault rifles in the game but it is ammo heavy. You see yourself burning through it quite quickly. Now a few extended mag perks will help and you can get this thing closer to 200 in its clip but it still burns through the ammo. It's a weapon that drops offering all elemental effects so keep that in mind if you're looking for a decent assault rifle that shreds for your in particular build this may be just that. But all in all it's a great great weapon one I do feel a lot of people have forgot about or just overlook. Ok so moving on and in at number 3 we have the Lucian's Cool. Now the Lucian's Cool is a weapon which is very very popular and that's because of its party trick. Critical hits return 2 bullets back to the magazine and ricochets 2 bullets at the nearest enemy. Now on paper this isn't that powerful looking at it you're thinking well this don't look that great but using it on that battlefield it does some serious serious damage. Against mobs of enemies constantly getting your ammo back this thing gets to work. There is the Rowan's Call which also shares this thing's pie trick, it's just that weapon is very very limited in terms of its clip size. The Lucian's Call in my opinion is just a better weapon all round. Now every decent build I've created with Zane like the Winter Soldier, the Scorpion, the Starship Trooper and a few others all had room for the Lucian's Call as it adds so much to a build. Now the Lucian's Call is an assault rifle which drops offering cryo, incendiary and corrosive, all equally good in their own right. It drops from I believe blue fire within the slaughter shaft as well as the Lutogram via the Dinkobot but that's a rare instance for sure. But yeah people the Lucian's Call is an amazing assault rifle, one I'm pretty certain will be in everybody's top 5. Ok so let's move on and in at number 2 we have nothing other than the Sploder or the Laser Sploder. Now the Sploder 
is a weapon I refer to as a Ghostbusters gun. It's by far the most or close to the most powerful assault rifle in this game, especially paired with a dedicated build. I first saw this within the first few days of playing Borderlands 3, my pal had it dropped somewhere, didn't show up about it, we got into a duel and he mounted me with it before I even knew what happened. Now I'm not quite sure but it could have received a nerf somewhere down the line, I've got something in the back of my head that's telling me that, but I'm not quite sure. But even still people, it's still super super powerful and beholds those benefits. All I do feel this needs is perks to help bring its clip size up because you burn through it so quick it's unbelievable. And with a bigger clip people you do have a monster of a weapon. Now the Sploder also while shooting that laser beam fires out additional rockets making it even more potent. Now the Sploder comes with all elements so there's one out there for every build you can imagine. It drops from Celestro but I do believe it's also will drop too. Now with the many different variants available in game I do feel this assault rifle could indeed be up there with the best weapons in the game build wise. And I mean that in a way of there's a version for every build like I mentioned earlier. So people, the Sploder is a beast, a great weapon I do recommend you seek out if you haven't had this already. Ok so we're going to move on and people, in my opinion, the best assault rifle in this game right now is nothing other than the Dick Tater. Now this might come as a surprise to some, and I guarantee some won't even put this in their top 5, but for me, main in Zane, this thing just works wonders. And it's an assault rifle I've had and used since the start, I've always carried at least one variant within my inventory. Now the weapon itself can come in two variants, of a 3x and a 6x. The 6x consumes 2 ammo per shot, but does at least double the damage, so that's something to think about. Now this weapon does have two firing mods, it has a rifle and bipod. Now a rifle is the standard of shooting pellets that spread, 3 or 6, but within that bipod mod you additionally double those pellets and I think you actually gain a couple more too, not consuming any more ammo though. But within that bipod mod you can't run or jump until you switch weapons or change the firing mod back to rifle. Now within that bipod mode, rocking the 6x variant the damage is utterly crazy. As you can see on the screen now the difference between the 3x and the 6x on the test dummy. In reality damage wise DPS yes the 6x variant is much higher, but the 3x variant offers a much longer lasting magazine, just at a cost of a little damage. Both variants are amazing though, adding extra clip sizes via perks is an easy thing to do also, which would make this even better, especially that 6x. Now the Dictator is a world drop, but its dedicated boss drop is Agonizer 9000 and Terror. It also drops offering all elements each amazing and like the Sploder I do think this is a weapon that will fit a variety of builds. So yeah guys my number one pick for assault rifles in Borderlands 3 at the moment is nothing other than the Dick Tater, a true monster, one I think many people still to this day do indeed overlook. And that is that guys, my top 5 assault rifles within the game, let me know yours down below within that comment section. But on that note we have come to the end, if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.